Good afternoon and salam ibu pertiwiku. The Wolf of Wall Street producer and stepson of Malaysia's former Prime Minister pleaded not guilty on Friday to laundering 248 million US dollars from a state investment fund, becoming the third person in his family charged in a 1MDB scandal that helped end Najib Razak's government last year. Riza Aziz was solemn as he appeared in court to be charged with receiving the illicit funds between 2011 and 2012 in the US and Singapore. The charge sheet said the money was misappropriated from 1MDB and channeled into bank accounts of Riza's company Red Granite Pictures Incorporated, which produced films including the Martin Scorsese-directed film starring Leonardo DiCaprio. The 2013 film was nominated for five Academy Awards, including Best Picture. The money was transferred from Swiss bank accounts of two companies U.S. investigators identified as being linked to 1MDB into Red Granite's accounts in the United States and Singapore according to the charge sheets describing the evidence. Riza was released on bail. He was charged with five counts of money laundering and could face up to five years in prison, a fine or both, on each count if he is convicted. A magnitude 7.1 earthquake struck Southern California Friday night, the second major tumbler in less than two days and one that rocked buildings across Southern California, adding more jitters to an already nervous region. The quake was centered near Ridgecrest, the location of the July 4, 6.2 magnitude tumbler that was the largest in nearly 20 years. Emergency officials on the scene said here were reports of Friday night's quakes causing some fires and other damage in Ridgecrest. In Trona and Ridgecrest, two Mojave towns shaken by this quake and the previous one, residents answered their phones frantically and in fear. The shaking was less intense in the Los Angeles metro area and there were no immediate reports of major damage or injuries. The 7.1 quake occurred on the same fault system as a 6.4 timbre that is now being considered a foreshock. Details about what prosecutors have called one of Britain's largest ever modern-day slavery rings have emerged with the conviction of eight people originally from Poland. Prosecutors say more than 400 victims were forced to work for minuscule wages while their masters earned some £2 million and lived a luxurious lifestyle. The group preyed on the homeless, former convicts and alcoholics in Poland and lured them to Britain with false promises of well-paid work. Some ended up being paid less than one dollar for a day's work and were held in squalid conditions. Five men and three women originally from Poland have been convicted of modern-day slavery offenses and money laundry. Victims reported being forced to wash in a canal because they had no access to fresh water having to plug leaky toilets with their blankets and sheets, and getting food from soup kitchens and food banks because their wages were not sufficient. The group targeted vulnerable people in Poland for recruitment, including newly released convicts, and placed them in England in cramped, rat-infested lodgings. They were put to work on farms, rubbish recycling centers, and poultry factories. The victims range from teenagers to people over 60. Well, that's all the news updates for now. I am Razi Ahmad, and thank you for watching.